This morning, in homes all over America, the tantalizing scents of Thanksgiving Day cooking are seeping out of kitchens, and family ties are being drawn in to bring loved ones together. And today, as you go about your own Thanksgiving Day preparations, please join us in the privilege of witnessing some of the family doings of a re most remarkable family. It's Jack Linklater on the go. Come on along. We're going places, doing things, and meeting people everywhere in their search for happiness. Good morning, and a happy Thanksgiving Day to you. Today is a day when, if you don't mind me clobbering the old cliche, home is where the hearth is. And today the hearth is here at the home of Mrs. Amanda Bullock. This is on an 1,800-acre ranch called Limonera. It's 28 years ago, her husband passed away, leaving her with five children, the youngest one just a month-old baby. How Mother Bullock raised her children, how she left her home in Oklahoma and took her family on a long trek, working on farms in Arizona and the fruit and vegetable valleys of California, is a story that you will learn today. It is a pilgrim, pioneering story in the hardiest American tradition, and I believe most fitting and warming on this Thanksgiving day. First, let's talk to Mother Bullock herself. She has brought her family here to the Limonera Ranch where they are resident workers, and if I can pull this up, how are you today? Just fine. What are you knitting? Just oh, starting. Yeah. Is it going to be a pair of socks or no, a sweater? No, it'll be a belt. A belt? Mm -hmm. uh, now, your husband passed away, if I have my figures correct, 1931. Uh, this was in where in Oklahoma? Haskell, Oklahoma. Haskell. And then what did you no, do? No, it wasn't. Let me see. I think it was Haskell, Oklahoma. Yeah, I believe it was. What did you do then? Well, I just went to work. Well, you had these five children. How old was the oldest? One either was eleven, I think. And then you had a boy. How old was he? Bill was five. And then? The twins was three. And twin man. boys? Mm-hmm. And what were their names? Toy and Foy. Toy and Foy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you had a little baby just a yeah, month old. Yeah, Wayne. Now, you went to work. How, how could you do this? Well, I just left them as Juanita and went to work. And Juanita, at 11 years old, took care of these children. Well, not right along, you know. They, I didn't go to work for a, bit, a little bit, I guess, after he died. Well, what kind of work did you do? I done everything to be done on like the what? farm. Well, pick cotton, chop cotton, get a corn and plow. You mean you want these men's jobs? Sure, but I had to do it to raise them children. Or not. Were there other women in the fields? Yes, sir. Well, I think there would be jobs that would actually be more feminine and easier for a woman uh, working in a knitting mill or something. Cause yeah, but they didn't have no knitting mills around there, no way to work in. Well, now, this is 1931. I imagine also the Depression was hurting, wasn't it? Mm-hmm, sure. How, how much were you earning a week? Oh, I don't know, Jack, not very much. Now, you uh, had Juanita to help, and I imagine uh, she filled in considerably for you. And in fact, she was the first one to leave home, wasn't she? She uh -huh. started the family trek away from Oklahoma. Yeah, she sure was. Uh, why'd she do this? Well, I don't know. Where'd she first go? She went to Arizona. And what'd she do there? They worked in a leather shed. Oh, with her husband, and I uh -huh. believe they had a baby? Yeah, and then Robert. How, how soon did you follow with uh, your boys? Oh, I guess about two months or three. Wasn't that uh, a big decision for you, to leave your home and take off? No. You didn't know where, did you? No. It didn't make me no different. I just going to Arizona and won't even jean. How'd you get there? Went in a truck. I hired a man to take me to Arizona in a truck. And so you sold your home and uh, you take all your belongings with you? No, I sold it all. Sold everything. So you were you were really ready to take off. You I sold sure all was. your possessions and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, now you had a whole series of moves. You moved from, uh, you came out to Tucson and you went to where? Bakersfield? Mm-hmm. Married to Salinas. And you'd just stay, what, two, three months in a place? And then you'd oh, move on? Oh, we stayed to uh, Salinas. I don't know just how long. You went to Buttonwillow, California. Now, mm -hmm. were you, what were you moving for? Looking for jobs? Looking for better jobs. Would you migrate with crops? Mm-hmm. What kind of jobs were you doing? Who, me then? Oh, the, the boys. boys. Oh, they just working, driving tractors, and just doing everything to be done on the ranch. 
Now you've been here at the at this citrus ranch for 11 years, and yeah, all of all the family they they have their own homes here. Mm-hmm. But you've kept them together. Yeah, kept them together. All but Bill, he's the leanest, that oldest son. How'd he get away? I don't know. He did. <laughs> uh huh. What well, What do you remember as as the toughest Thanksgiving day as you look back? I don't remember. I think this would be the best one I've ever had. This would be the best one? Mm-hmm. Because you have all your yeah, family here? Yeah, all my family and all of them, all these nice folks around us. But I understand Couldn't you had one bad one. That was when you were, mm-hmm. you, you had a heart attack. I sure did. What happened? I don't know. This you don't remember, but I, your, your boys were telling me that you were sitting there plucking a goose. They all were yeah. out working. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you had been working hard, and then you I were sure sick for did. another six months. Yeah, I sure was. But now you have all your family. I'm sure glad that they're all together. And I'm going to move Thank into the you. kitchen in there and talk to some of your girls, all right? Okay. Thank you very much. We'll be back. Oh, boy, does that smell good. Is this poor Tom? Yes. I guess Tom's going to be devoured in a couple hours. Yes. All gone. Um, Juanita, if I could chat with you for a second, I was in there talking with your mother, and she's such a charming person. Really wonderful talking to her. Um, I imagine it was quite difficult on the whole family after your father passed away. Yes, it was. Particularly on you. Well. What did you have to do? Oh, I had to take care of my brothers while mother worked. And consequently, what happened to your schooling? Well, uh, I had to quit school, just go a few days a week and take care of the boys while she worked. Were they pretty good boys? I mean, oh, they were wonderful. Was it difficult for you? No. Because actually, as a teenager, you were doing a job that many mothers don't have. Uh, what was the most difficult time for you? Well, it was when my mother was sick for six months. She was telling me about that. Well, what happened uh, financially during that time? Well, the, we had to take money, you know, the boys worked. And, of course, they went to school part-time. And, uh, you mean the little boys? Yes, they were doing men's work. And so my husband and I, you know, helped, helped them out. So you all put your money in a big pot and whenever you needed so, it, you reached in for it. Sure. Uh, and what about your, your girlfriends and all? Uh, did you miss a teenager's life? Oh, I don't think I missed it too much. They'd come to the house and we'd crank up the old graphophone, play records and dance and have us ball. So they'd all come to you and you yes. couldn't go out to them. Now you left uh, home back, I believe it was 1942, and... Uh, you were the first one, really caused the whole family to migrate away from Oklahoma. Yeah. Why'd you leave? Well, on the account of my husband, I had to work too hard back there. and uh, What was he doing? Oh, he was uh, working on a vegetable ranch, and he had to wade water up to his knees and get vegetables when it was raining, you know, and muddy and overflows and all that. But he'd, he'd work all during the week? Well, what would he Seven make? Seven days a week, $16. $16 a week yes. he was making? Mm-hmm. Why, good. And did you have children at the time? Just one son. Now, you have two other daughters. Were, yes. were they born while you were going from farm to farm? No, they were both born here on the Laminaire. So now you, for the first time, really have a home. Yes. You happy here? You're not kidding. Want to stay forever? Sure. What do you like about it here that you didn't have in Tucson or Bakersfield or anywhere Oh, else? I like the climate much better and the work especially. There's, they pay a lot more for the work here than they do. What's your husband place. do now? He's a cat scanner. A cat skinner? Yes. What's that? You mean he uh, skins cats? No, he drives them. Pushes out trees. Caterpillars. Mm-hmm. Oh, I <laughs> didn't know this farm okay, and, and do you have a job? Do you do yes, anything? I work in the orange house. What do you do? Great oranges. Work in the lemon house. Great lemons. Now, each of the family, each part of your family and other families are here on the Limonera Ranch. They're living here. Do they all have separate quarters yes, like you do? Yes, they do, except my mother, and she lives with me. How big a home do you have here? I have four bedrooms, two baths, living room, and kitchen. Now, you have a job uh, here at the Orange Place, and uh, you have quite a, a large house. Do you yes. mind doing this extra work? You have to do housekeeping plus a job. Well, naturally, I'd rather be home with my mother and the girls, but... It has to be done. It has to be done. Do you like the wide open feeling, though? There's probably yes. a bigger house than you ever You're not had. kidding. I feel like a bird. <laughs> I have <laughs> a gilded cage. How much rent do you pay here? $20 a month. And that's part of the ranch system where you're working here? Yes. Now, you saw uh, through the years of the Depression, you helped raise your family. You saw the tough times they went through going from farm to farm. What do you see as the future of your children? 
Well, I hope my children get a good education for one thing and, uh, and never have to go through with what we had to, naturally. And uh, I want them to, to get in some kind of business of their own. You don't want them to be in farm work? Well, our son, I'm afraid, is going to. He wants to be in following his father's footsteps. Why do you say afraid? Well, I'd rather for him not to. I'd rather for him to get some other job. Why? Because my husband's had to work so hard. And you think that he should go into some professional field? Yes, I'd rather for him to. Now, what's the menu here today? What do you have all prepared? Everyone's working so hard. Well, this is candied yam, banana pudding, pumpkin pie, and fruit salad. And we saw the Big Tom, and then the ham. The, the ham. Well, you don't think uh, the Big Tom's going to be enough for your whole family? No, I don't think so. You have quite a brood here. And who's helping you out here? Oh, these are my sister-in-laws. Could we meet them? Sure. This is Irma Bullock. Hello. Now, who are you now? You're... I'm Foy's wife. So that makes uh, her your sister-in-law, and Foy is one of the two twins. Yes. And... This is my sister-in-law, Reva. And you're married to... Her, her husband's twin brother, Toy. I think you almost as confused as I am. Now, you're her sister-in-law. Are there any other sister-in-laws? I have one more sister, and she's married to uh, our husband's brother. Wayne Bullock. So that makes her your sister-in-law. Yes, when I'm angry with her, when I'm not. She's my sister. Oh, she's both? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> a little confused, but I got that straightened out. Could we meet your family? And I'll sort of sure. keep score here, all right? Let's go on outside and we'll meet the whole brood. Well, it looks like a playground. It is. Sure does. This is my husband, Jack, Gene Fouch. Hi, Gene. How are you? Don't get up. It'd be too much of a strain. Um, now, have you ever regretted, uh, your wife was telling me about your travels out here and why you've decided to live here as your permanent home. Have you ever regretted moving out not, here from Oklahoma? Not a bit, Jack. What do you like best about out here? Well, uh, if we was having Thanksgiving in Oklahoma, we'd be in the snow. Instead of playing baseball? Yes, sir. Where are your children? Uh, Billy? Billy? You and Francis? Billy? Robert? Is that a girl's name? Yes, Billy Joyce. Oh. Wilbert? Are these girls twins? No, sir. Well, you have a couple of very good-looking daughters there. Hello, girls. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. And uh, you're Wilbur. Hi, yep. Wilbur. How are you? Just fine. you have a job yet? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm working for the Moopoo Poo Packing House in Santa Paula. Well, you're, wa you're a mother, your wife. <laughs> your mother <laughs> said that uh, you wanted to be a farmer. She didn't really want you to be, but uh, she said that this is where you had your leanings. Why do you want to go into agriculture? Oh, just because I like to work. You ever like done another kind of work? Here. Yeah, I work for the county inspector. You like this better? Yeah. Make a good farm hand? Yeah, I believe he will. All right, fine. You can go back to your sports now. And then um, Juanita, the, the two boys, I take it they're the twins. Yes, this is Foy, and that's Toy out there. And a couple of real hefty batters there. Uh, Roy, can we call you up here? Break up this game for a this second? Is, uh, Foy, Jack. Foy. Hi, Foy. I know Roy, Toy, Foy, I was fouling up these names. <laughs> What, what kind of job do you have, sir? A maintenance on the ranch here. And uh, where are your children? Well, we've got a boy right here. I mean, the, the little one with uh -huh. the big bat? Right here. With a big bat, bigger than he is. The new Babe Ruth. Uh-huh. And there are two girls out here playing on the lawn. Now, how old are they? They look like they're twins, too, almost. Well, not quite. One's four and one's six. Well, they're very pretty girls. And then we lastly have over here, we have your, your uh, twin, right? That's right. And his boy's the big boy. That's right. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you all. Right. And I understand that all of you have made an arrangement. You have some secret going here yes, for Mrs. Bullock. Yes, we do. Bullock's. You tell me about it? Yes. That, can I trust you to keep a secret? Well, sure you can. Okay. Come, come over here and whisper to me. We'll be right back. Okay. We're back with the Bullocks here at the Limonera Ranch. I have the world's smallest camera. I'm going to try to take one of the biggest pictures. Now, can we squeeze in uh, Roy and Toy and all the little foys or whatever they are? <laughs> Let's squeeze in here. All right. Now, let's not look sour. Everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Good. Got it. Thank you. Well, I've certainly been enjoying meeting with all of your family and talking with them and seeing the preparations for this Thanksgiving day that I'm sure are going to be very memorable. Let me come over here. Look at, look at this stomach now. What, what do you like best during Thanksgiving? Huh? Do you like the turkey? Yeah, you do. I can tell you put a lot of turkeys in there. What would you say, as you look back over the last year, uh, that you can be most thankful for? Well, today is the best day, Thanksgiving, 
had in a long time. Why? Well, everybody's here in my family. Usually you, you have your Thanksgiving alone? Well, we usually go at my folks. They live in Bakersfield. So you go over to the in-laws. That's right. <laughs> you, you finally get her over to your house, huh? <laughs> And uh, here's a little fellow that's always been grabbing my microphone all morning long. Do you want to be a master of ceremonies? Hi. Hi. See, so you get that mic, he says hi right away. And what did you do last Thanksgiving? Do you remember? I took you dinner with Grandma. You even have a prompter. And also, you took him where? Over to... To the turkey farm. And you saw the turkey before you ate it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you did. And here are a couple of real cuties. These two girls. Now, what are you? You're a uh, what kind of a dancer? A bop. A bop dancer. These two girls love the bebop. And uh, what would you say you have to be thankful for this whole year? Turkey and my tonsils being out. Did you get your tonsils taken out too? Yes. You wouldn't let her get away with anything, would you? No. Were you sick before you had your tonsils? No. Huh? Yes. Ever since she was a baby. Were they both sick? Sick ever since they were so babies. So taking out the tonsils made them much healthier. You're not you do have something to be thankful for. And, of course, you've had your whole family here, except for one. And look right here. Who is that? Huh? Oh, my. I had the privilege of being able to ask them down. This was all arranged by your family. And this is a real family get-together. Hello, Janice. Boy, there are more kids to play with now, aren't there, huh? Yes, a lot of play with. Oh, isn't that a cutie? Well, now, huh? That is the biggest prize in my life. Would you say this is a pretty good Thanksgiving? Oh, Lord, yeah. I'm well, thank God it's come off as good as it is. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and we've certainly had a pleasure seeing you reunited with your children and your grandchildren. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back. Well, Bill and his family have now rejoined the big, big Bullock family. If you're keeping score, it's now 25. Let's have a roll call. What is your name? Janice. And Janice, how old are you? Ten. Wearing lipstick, uh-huh. Have a boyfriend? No. Uh, you will, real soon. And your name? Sharon. And how old are you, Sharon? Twelve and a half. I have a sister by the name of Sharon, almost the same age. And what is your name? Jean. And how old are you, Jean? Nine. Nine? Should I try? <laughs> How old is this one? She's a year old. And what's her name? Darla. Darla. And she's just a little cutie. And uh, all girls, no fellas. No, no Who's going to do all the work for you? Uh, I don't know, myself, I guess. Uh, that's what you've been doing. How long has it been since your whole family have been together with the, with the Bullocks, the overall family? Well, thank you. Well, actually, we've well, never had a family reunion before. This no. is the first time we've all been With together. all of this uh -huh. one, how old's the baby? Just the, She's a year old. A year old. Mm -hmm. year old. Mm -hmm. How come you were the lone wolf of the family? How come you went on up to <laughs> Salinas and didn't stay down here? Well, I liked it up back up through there. I was up there once, and I really You did come down with the family. Oh, though. I did, yes. I did. Why'd you leave? Well, I w liked, liked it up there better. More money for you up there? Oh, uh, yeah, it was. With four daughters, you have to keep that in mind. That's right. You ain't what, do you, what would you say you have most to be thankful for this Thanksgiving? Well, my family, my mother, well, my whole family. And here's, the, here's your, the proudest one of all, and as yeah. she has voiced all morning, this has yeah. been your happiest Thanksgiving, hasn't it? It sure has. And I'm sure glad that we could be a part of it and let our audience mm -hmm. share this day with you. You all ready for the uh, Big Tom Turkey? Sure. How much do you think you can handle? Oh, not very much. Well, you nibble away. I'm sure you'll do all right. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you, fellows and girls. Right. Well, my Thanksgiving has already been warm and rosy, and I hope that all of you in your homes today with your families around you are sharing in this wonderful spirit of what we could call a truly American holiday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Executive producer, Irvin Atkins. This is a John Goodell production in association with the CBS Television Network. Johnny Jacobs speaking.